909. System check. Complete. Status. All systems go. Commencing ejection sequence. Stand by. Reaching target coordinates in 10 seconds. Confirming final landing trajectory. Error adjustment. Complete. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Eject. startled us falling out of the blue. Does anything hurt? Are you okay? I'm Ina. And you are? Oh, wow. That's a really nice name. Well, it's so nice to meet you. Come on, I'll show you to our town. We can talk more there. So, first, we gotta climb up this cliff. If you get a running start, you can jump really high here. Give it a try. something like this. I'm taking it on. What about you, Meteorn? Uh, I'll, I'll help too. Focus on defending yourself. So this is what I had that bad feeling about, huh? Ina, Manon, 
You are right. Good. So, who are you? I'm Garo. Nice to meet you. I guess if you just drop down here, you're probably feeling kind of clueless. I know Manon's memory was pretty intact, but in your case, maybe. Not so much, huh? But we can talk about it when we get back to town. Ina, Manon, are you done gathering the rest aside? Oh, that's right. I almost forgot. Well, we need to cross here. But what about you? Got any experience with gliding? You gather photons, the energy in your body, into your arms and your legs. You do that, then jump off from here. Even if you screw it up, it's just the sea down there. Go on, give it a go. Yikes, tough teacher. Welcome to our humble little Alio town. I'm sure everybody here will give you a warm welcome. This is my place. Come on in. Well, like I said, I'm Garua. I'm the leader of this town. This here's Ina, my daughter. That's me. And over there is Manon. A pleasure. First of all, you're probably wondering where in the world you are. Let's start with the planet. We call this one Halfa. And this is a town on that planet called Alio Town. It's a pretty small place, though, as you can see. To the north of here is Halfa's largest city, named Central City. Central City is the seat of Halfa's government and economy. I'm sure you'll have the chance to visit it at some point. And then, there are the dolls. The ones you just fought were the smaller class of them. Petus swords, they're called. And let me tell you, us Halfans have been at war with these dolls for a very long time. How long, you ask? Well, let's see. They say it's been over 500 years. There you go. But we still don't understand very much about them, though, I'm afraid. Why do they attack us? Where do they come from, even? We really have no idea. About the only thing we do know for sure is, the dolls are our sworn enemy. I guess you could say they're just one big mystery to us, kinda like you Meteorn. Meteorn is what we call people like you, the folks who show up here on Alpha from space in those landing pods. Manon here is also a Meteorn. She dropped down on that little island about half a year ago. And now she lives with us. Meteorn, dolls, we don't know where either of you come from, or even why you come here. For some reason, 
Meteor and all seem to arrive here with no memory of their past. You too, right? Once in a while, there are exceptions, though. Like Manon here. The only difference between me and the other Meteorn is that I still have a few fragments of knowledge left. Manon is really smart. She knows so much about machines. She even helps me with my studies. There are some people who have the theory that both the dolls and Meteor probably come from the same place. But whether that's true or not, I can say with confidence that you, Meteor, are our friends. You guys have been our allies for a long time. Of that, there is no doubt. Anyway, I guess that's enough of a lecture for today. I'll send everything we just talked about to you. That thing floating next to you is a mag, by the way. Your mag is much more advanced than the ones we have. That's another unique thing about you, Meteor. But we'll go into more detail on that later. Hey, are you hungry? Alright, let's get our grub on then. Why don't you take a look around the town while we get it ready? Hey, you're back. I bet you're tired. Why don't you take it easy here for a while? Great. I'll go check on the preparations. Make yourself at home, okay? Ready for refreshments? It's nothing special, but we put a little something together. It's a long-standing Halfen custom to offer the warmest welcome we can to our Meteor guests. Come on, follow me. We got a pretty big turnout to welcome you to Alien Town. Almost everybody in town. Here's some for you. Well, are you ready, everybody? Introduce yourself. A toast to our new friend. Cheer! Cheer! Beautiful here, don't you think? You know, I really love this place. I want to make damn sure no harm ever comes to these good people. Ark's defenders. They're the warriors who do battle with the dolls. Both me and Manon are full Ark's defenders. But Ina over there is still an apprentice. You know, before I showed up to that battle back there, it looked like you were pretty evenly matched with that Pettis sword. Arcs could use more good fighters. I, for one, think you'd make a great addition to the Arcs team. <laughs> but look, I don't need an answer right away. See how you like it here, and give it some good thought. Listen, why don't we call it a night? Are you injured? Thank you, Manon.
as that! Ina, take these two and run to the Northern Caves! What? But, Dad! Look, no, just get in the way here, is what he's saying. Yeah. Ina, let's go! But, but wait! I, I can't! Come on! You too! Go! You're back. Are you okay? The good news is that the mag's body scan feature isn't showing any injuries. Defenders from Central City came and took her to the medical bay a little while ago. We got hit by that huge doll's attack. It looks like we were unconscious for a while. The dolls are gone now, but it looks like Alio Town has been completely. Some Arcs defenders from Central City were searching for him a little while ago. They haven't found any survivors yet. Well, I guess we can't just stay here forever. We should get going to Central City, too. <laughs> 